what's up my peeps and peepers this is your king rose power here at the reviewing station for some brand new exciting star wars the black series action figure reviews it's been a while so let's get right into it so we're going to be taking a look at series 9 that just popped up not too long ago it isn't actually the current wave that's out right now as a matter of fact it's the one that's behind uh the one that's out right now it's got more of the rogue one characters which i am looking forward to getting to eventually but right now it's been enough as it is catching up with star wars the black series so let's go ahead and take a look at the first figure to come offered in this series which is none other than princess leia again that's right previously reviewed figure was the 40th anniversary run of this said figure with a minor tweak in the sculpting of the head in order to make her look more accurate to carrie fisher when you know in a new hope so uh with that said i've just recently discovered that this figure Inside this packaging has been uh, restocked with the brand new head sculpt that was given with the 40th anniversary run, which I do have right here. So this right here is the 40th anniversary Princess Leia Organa figure that I reviewed not too long ago. And this is the brand new wave of uh, Wave 9 action figures to offer the new head sculpt for Princess Leia. Going by the actual stamp code on the Wave 9 box set from Hasbro, which is 62981. I will repeat that. 62981. If you happen to come across that or anything above it, that is the Wave that's got the brand new head sculpt. If not, well then you're going to have um, what people are considering to be a copy and paste of the actual head sculpt coming from the fat chick from the fifth element instead of looking like Carrie Fisher from A New Hope. So with that said... Basically, that was everything to go about with this review. It's basically the same figure again. Maybe with a little bit of some tweaking here and there in certain areas. But outside of that, this is what is offered in the 40th anniversary or what was offered before it said. But before we take a look at the action figure at hand, let's go ahead and take a look at our packaging. Which says partake of every single video review when I can. So it's your generic Star Wars Black Series packaging ever since... Um, the Force Awakens, if I'm not mistaken, which is what changed the packaging to look more collector-friendly, which it definitely does. Got a nice picture of, uh, well, yeah, sure, a picture. Okay, we got the logo for Star Wars The Black Series. We got the nice picture, a profile image for Princess Leia Organa from A New Hope. Very nice. On the side here, we got number 30. She is the first figure to come out of Wave 9. Onto the back of the packaging, and here we got a little brief summary about Princess Leia Organa from A New Hope. There you have that. Not much else to go on about this, so let's go ahead and open this up. And I just realized I haven't even taken her off the cellophane tape. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead, pull out my pocket knife, and get this open to you so you can see it for your viewing pleasure right here. <laughs> Put that aside. Now let's take a look at Princess Leia herself and get the packaging out of here as well because it's kind of taking away the focus on the figure. Focus. Let's see. Well. Eh. Shite. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I really don't see much of a difference. Not much. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. It's basically one and the same. As a matter of fact, I'm sure the articulation is one and the same. So we got our ball jointed head and the hinge joint for up and down movement. Kind of tight on this one. Let's see, we got our universal shoulder joint. So do we have double jointed elbows? Yes, we do. Something that all female action figures really need. So Hasbro, thanks for stepping up your game. We got wrist rotation. We got a hinge joint for inward and outward movement there. We got a upper torso ball joint. So there's that. Legs are actually tighter on this figure. That's uh, actually nice. And they look like they splay out just a little bit farther than the other one. Let's see, we got thighs cut right there. Still kind of tight on this version as well. Double jointed knees. 
We got a hinge joint for up and down movement at the feet, and then there's the ankle rocker pivot. So yeah, articulation is one and the same. The head sculpt, unfortunately, is one and the same. The paint job is pretty much similar. Her eyebrows look like they're lacking thereof in some areas, unlike the 40th anniversary, but that's just a minor defect on the paint job, apparently. But everything else seems pretty good. Well, let's see how the hood sits on this one. Wow, that's, that's actually better. Much better than what was going on with this one, if you remember so. Her leg's kind of loose now. I'm not so sure what's up with that, but it looks like this one might be the better figure. So what the hell? What did I buy this one for then? Alright, let's check her accessories and see if there's any difference going on here. Oh my god, you are kidding me. There actually is. Yeah, there's, there's a little shot of, like, silver paint right there. Is that actually on the 40th anniversary one? Kinda. It actually is there, but it looks a little darker. That's why I didn't notice that then. Okay, so it's basically one and the same. There really is no difference. So here's the Stormtrooper blaster. Here's her blaster. And that's basically it. Can the figure hold the weapons just fine? Wow, this, this weapon kind of feels a little gummy. It feels like it's actually brittle. But, uh... Yeah, she, she holds it pretty good. Stormtrooper Blaster would probably be the same way. So, uh... There's not really much to say. I mean, I basically reviewed this figure already. This is just a copy and paste. Does she have the trigger finger? Yes, she does. It's actually sculpted in there, so yeah, she can hold it just fine. It's kind of a bummer considering how much I actually spent to actually get a hold of the 40th Anniversary Princess Leia. And for what now? I don't know what I'm going to do here. I guess I could keep one out for display and keep the other one in box for safekeeping. I'm probably not going to. I could probably just sell this figure on eBay and at least make my money back and be done with it. But I never know when something could go wrong with one of these figures and I might need the other one. So, uh, right now as it stands, I'm certainly at a loss with this. But... With that said, that's basically going to do it for your video review. If you want to know what the size comparisons is between another figure, well, you basically got it right here. I mean, it is a different figure, kind of, sort of, so it, it does make sense. But uh, not much else to really say about this, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Questions, comments, you know what to do. Hit it down below in the comment section of the video. If you like today's video review, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see other video reviews similar to the one you're seeing here with more Star Wars The Black Series action figures on the way very shortly. Until then, this is your King Reddish Power signing off saying thank you very much for watching this, and I will see you whenever you see me.